How's it going guys? Been a minute since we've done a vlog. Taking the 600 LT to Avant Garde Exotics right now for its major service. It's been a while since it's gotten a service. I want to get the oil changed, some fluids flushed, some new spark plugs, etc. Make sure everything is good and set up because I'm doing a track day tomorrow with a bunch of friends. My friend Cam Casey's bringing out a 620R. Some other friends bringing out some sports cars and supercars. Should be a downright blast. And of course, it's always a good excuse to go visit the guys at APX. 20,000 miles in the McLaren. Now, fortunately for me, this car has actually been really reliable. Knock on wood, although obviously there's no wood in the interior of the 600 LT, but I've had no problems. I've just done oil changes and basic maintenance stuff, but I feel like I'm pushing my luck here now with over 20,000 miles and it being modified. All right, pulling up to AGX, see what they got. Before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, OBD 11. Everyone should have an OBD scanner. Why take your car into the dealer for an expensive diagnosis when you can do it yourself? OBD 11 is an officially licensed smart vehicle assistant that allows Volkswagen, Audi group owners, and BMW group owners the ability to customize and diagnose their car via their phone. It's super easy to use. Just connect the device to your vehicle's OBD2 port, then download the app on your smartphone and connect it via Bluetooth. You can then read out codes to see what's wrong with the car, clear the codes, and even share them. Using one-click apps, you can even unlock hidden features on your vehicle and customize and refine the driving experience by turning off certain comfort features. You can even look up and find information about the vehicle like the year and VIN number. Pro users even have access to coding, adaptions, live vehicle data, and even SFD unlocking. So click the link in the description below to get yourself an officially licensed OBD 11 so you can diagnose and do more on your Volkswagen Audi group vehicle and BMW group vehicle. All right, guys, on to the video. So we're back at AGX after they finished the service. For one, long time no see. Yeah, Good buddy. to see you. Quit, quit not breaking things. What did you do to the car? What does the service include for 20,000 miles on a McLaren? You actually have a pretty high mileage on McLaren. I do, I'm it's not right good. You, uh, we had to figure out what's leaking oil and that's no longer leaking oil anymore. Yeah, so how uh, crazy is this, guys? I put an extra quart of oil in the car, but because I put the oil cap on facing the other direction, even though I thought it was sealed, I guess it wasn't, and it spilled oil absolutely <laughs> everywhere. They are that picky. Yeah, that's but ridiculous. But I still have flashbacks from your Huracan. So you brought it in for service, but you ended up getting rear brakes on it too. Yep. So. Yeah, so I thought the rear brakes were fine because visually they looked kind of thick, but they absolutely were not fine. So check these out. Well, so that's the outboard pad, which I don't know if you got it. Yeah, wow. Not too bad. But, and like I said, this is also because of our experience with you and your your hurt on. So you were just starting to kiss the wear sensor on it. Um, and if your viewers at home remember your Huracan, we're avoiding rear brake issues for you at all costs. Yeah, so for those of you who didn't see that video, I'll, I'll uh, overlay it right now. But effectively, I ran the pads down to about that level. It had a pad failure. Then the metal backing plate bit the carbon rotor, and it was like a $10,000 bill. So I guess you're welcome, but... <laughs> I still have steak in my refrigerator from that, so... And then look at my... Look at these filters. That is absolutely disgusting. No, they picked the left one up and just bounced it on the, on the ground. Yep, stuff came out of it. Nice. Not here. Oh, you're going to give it a better slam? What kind of... What kind of... <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh my gosh. Tell me when to stop. And I, I mean... Tell oh, me you know stop. what? I was going to say I've never off-roaded, but for that stupid Area 51 raid, I took it like five miles on a dirt path. So that's probably probably what that was for. Oops. And there's just uh, some brake fluid sampling for you, so you can see. Lovely. Take a shot. And there's like 30 you grand. <laughs> Oh yeah. So we'll, we'll talk to Mitch about the bill and we'll go over actually how much all of this costs. We, uh, uh, it would have been more at a dealership, but it's, it's still not cheap. We clean the calipers, look at them. So pretty. They do look nice. Look well, thank you. All right, well, thank you guys, seriously. Anytime. All right, we'll do a little shop tour since they always have some cool stuff going on at AGX. Very interesting color scheme here. Really cool RX-7. And then I'm sure a lot of you will recognize this Murcielago, the Fast and Furious Murcielago that Tavares has completely restored. This thing is badass. Look at that manual transmission as well. Beautiful Mercy here, Amelia's car. Look at this wide body Aventador. That's pretty crazy. And then this is quite the flashy Aventador. Look at this chrome gold. 
That's the got some really cool cars out front of AGX as well. This beautiful SVJ Roadster. Look at that wide body Urus. Mark's beautiful E92 M3. The bumper on this Gallardo, and they put like a Reventon front bumper on it, which is uh, interesting to say the least. Maserati, some Perpermontes, but it sounds like they just started up the McLaren. Um, Rod, can I start it? Hold on, I'm about to put it. Rod, no, can no. I start? I know. I so the battery says zero percent, and you just told me the battery costs how much? I don't want to say it again on camera. I can't say. <laughs> it's, 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 they just it's said it's $7,000 to replace it's the battery. Because it, 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 it hurts. Hey, somebody in the comments will find it for like $5,900 no, on sale. Like no, what you're, you're going to have is all the YouTube links of like how to fix a lithium ion battery. You'll be like, cool story. Nice try. Yeah. Try again. Ain't going to happen. So it has some computer that monitors There's the a battery? computer on top of the battery. Oh. And so that's what ends up killing you. So, what a stupid so idea. a $7,000 battery, you probably got about. Two grand of a lithium battery, yeah, three grand. They're about three grand. So you can't put in like and a- then Plus a, another 3,000 and change yeah, computer. We put it in no it Optima red top? Yeah. No. <laughs> AutoZone does not carry what you need. Damn. Hey, Rod, <laughs> All right, it's six o'clock in the morning and we are almost at Willow Springs. Big Willow track day today. I'm so excited. Got my friends Jojo and Cam behind us. Should be a lot of fun. Now, once we get there, I'm gonna talk a bit about all of the maintenance items that I did at Avant Garde Exotics, how much each one costs, and what the warranty is like. Pulling up to the track, right as my car has a caution ice warning up on the dash. It is 33 degrees out right now. I hope it warms up today, my God. Pretty awesome selection of M cars today at the track. My friend Jojo's M4, nice M2, another M4, we got the 600 LT, nice Camaro, and then check it out. Look at this slammed E46 M3, some E36s, another sick E46 M3. This Mercedes was pretty epic too. My buddy Cam going out in the 3RS. All right, check out how crazy the interior of this E46 M3 is. It's got a full cage, crazy bucket seats. Look at the instrument cluster, that is so cool. That custom dash, this has gotta be a blast. And then check out this E36, full carbon doors, carbon everywhere. That is awesome. Well, gas at Willow Springs sure isn't cheap. $9 a gallon for 91. Like if we come over to 110, I think it's over 10 bucks. Oh, 9.99. That's a, that's a better deal for 110 octane than paying nine bucks for average gas. Right here is the rather expensive bill that I just received from Avant Garde Exotics. Now, they cut me a deal, so this is like best case scenario. But I wanted to talk about some of the costs of the parts on this car. Basically, I got a full service. It just hit 20,000 miles. Didn't want to take it to McLaren, so I took it to AGX. They also did the rear brakes, oil change, cabin filters, air filters, fluid flush alignment, uh, and rear brake pads. So here we go. OEM oil filter, $27. O-rings for the turbos, 20 bucks. The cabin filter, or air filter, excuse me, is 100 bucks each, so 206. Cabin filter, 129. The oil, 166. Brake fluid, 141. And then the labor for all that, 1500, comes out to a total of 2340. And then, I wasn't planning on doing the rear brakes. I thought they were fine from a visual inspection, just off, uh, on the car, excuse me. They thought it was too until they pulled them off and then realized that they were almost done at the sensors. Now, some of you guys might remember from my Huracan way back when, I took it to thermal with the brake pads too low. The problem is they crumbled midway through a track day, exploded, and then the metal backing plate on the actual calipers bit onto the rotor and then it exploded and it was a $10,000 carbon ceramic rotor. So that was horrible. Uh, so the brake pads, get this, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. The rear brake pads, $1,514. Are you kidding me? Attention all and, then, and then you need a sensor. So $80 on, on top of that, and then labor to change them 300. So that basically 1,900 bucks for freaking hats. Alignment 450, a total of 2,878. So now we've come to a grand total of $5,219. Now, to be honest, this car has been 
really, really trouble free. Uh, the maintenance hasn't been that bad. This is the biggest bill I've ever received on the car, and I'm really thankful for them. It just ran out of warranty, so I've been talking to Mitch about an aftermarket warranty, and it basically comes out to 15,500 bucks for three years, so about 5,000 per year. And after finding out that the sensor and the battery alone are $7,000, obviously the motor is probably eighty dollars to $100,000, the transmission is probably forty dollars to $60,000, that's not including install. I think I'm probably gonna do it. Obviously that's ridiculously expensive for a warranty, but just wanted to give you some uh, insights into McLaren maintenance and ownership. Let's get out on the track. Having an absolute blast today. Cam is out here for the first time in his GT3 RS. We got Jojo in the pink M4 over there. Alright, see you guys out there. an awesome day at Willow Springs. I had an absolute blast. I definitely get, need to get back out on the track more often in the 600 LT. It's obviously such a perfect car for it. And every time I come out to the track, I just wonder why I don't do it more. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. Bye.